I think Chil Sonnen is the worst trash talker. Chil Sonnen хуже как trash talker. Just because a lot of the stuff he says is gibberish. Просто потому что он часто какую-то тарабарщину несет. Conor McGregor, when he talks trash, there's a lot of truth behind what he's saying. А у Конора обычно правдивый trash talk. I think Habib will be under more pressure. Я думаю, Хабиб будет под большим давлением. Just because you know he has a very dangerous fighter who usually backs up what he says. Против Хабиба выйдет опасный боец, который обычно подкрепляет свои слова своими боями. Where Chael Sonnen is known to talk trash and lose. А Chael говорит и проигрывает. I think I think Fedor wins this fight. Fedor выиграет во всех аспектах и победит в стойке. On the ground and on the feet, he's just a better fighter. He has great jujitsu. Просто лучше как боец. Great striking. He's an all-around better fighter. If I were to give Fedor any advice, I would tell him to work on his guillotine because. Obviously, Chael Sonnen is going to shoot, and Chael Sonnen always shoots with his head on the same side. So, work that guillotine and uh, work your triangles. I think fighting Daniel Cormier at heavyweight would be a bigger challenge. He's more comfortable there. Бой против Кормия в тяжелом весе будет большим вызовом для меня. В тяжелых он себя покомфортнее чувствует. You know his body types, his body type. You know it's. It's the way. That's where he wants to be. He wants to be big. Тяжи это то, что лучше подходит его телу. So I think he would definitely be tougher to fight at heavyweight. И побить его в тяжах будет определенно сложнее. But I still believe I win. I believe that I have his number. I know how to beat him. Guys, you know I don't think girls really care if you cheat as long as you're in the right position in life because, you know, all girls like guys who do steroids. And they're all cheating. Well, I tell you what, boy, Cowboy Cerrone got some fucking troll ass fans. Y'all niggas getting on my motherfucking nerves, and none of y'all will fucking do what you saying. You a bunch of fake ass bitch ass motherfuck. I'm gonna make you all eat your motherfucking words. You're gonna cry like little bitches in your mama's fucking basement, you little pussies. I call you pussies, but you never ever get any. And I get all the pussy and money. Fuck. And if you don't like my videos and don't like what I'm saying, then it must be because I'm fucking talking to you. If you ain't hating, then you ain't got a problem with it. And if you hating, shut the fuck up or do some about it. I do some about it. I want all the smoke too. All you bitch ass motherfuckers coming on my shit today. Ooh, you know what? Now nah, I done changed my mind because y'all don't even deserve my attention. Shout out to all my people who support me and know what time it is, November 10th. You see, yeah, I, I did, and I saw that. Um, didn't Mayweather offer to train McGregor? Aaron, did you, you brought this up to me earlier today. What happened there? McGregor came out and uh, offered to train, uh, or sorry, Mayweather came out and offered to train McGregor in MMA. Yeah, he said, uh, you know, forget what you're doing no, at the UFC no. gyms. Come learn hands at, at Mayweather Academy. Come learn hands at Mayweather Academy. Yeah, so that's not trying to offer him to teach MMA. That's telling him to come work on your hands with the Mayweathers, which is a nice offer. That, that, that's very gentlemanly of yeah. Floyd Mayweather. You well, think there's more to it, though? Well, I mean, of course, there's a little bit of condescending, you know, let me teach you how to fight after I just beat you. We were driving into Vegas, and we... Floyd Mayweather, he just bought a billboard that had his record on right, it, said it, 50 and 0. Yeah, it's so awesome. As you're driving into Las Vegas, on Las Vegas Boulevard, <laughs> there's a huge billboard that says TMT, the money team, 50 and 0. And, you know, I mean, listen, that billboard can't have been cheap. It wouldn't have been cheap. But the fact no. that he did that is pretty awesome. You know, he's throwing it in Connor's face a little bit. Um, yeah, a little bit condescending. Yeah, because he knows Connor's not going to take him up on that offer. Never in a million years. So yeah, no, a little bit of fun, of no. course. Yeah, yeah Connor said, "Fuck the Mayweather's." Well, yeah, he said, "Fuck the Mayweather's," right? Step yeah, up. Yeah, except senior, senior and uh, senior. Except, except who? Uh, senior and one of the other guys, Roger, I believe. Roger yeah, yeah. and senior. And then he was like, you know, step up or whatever to fight him in MMA, which is not going to happen, which would be stupid on Floyd Money Mayweather. Um, yeah, Connor, I'm really. I hope we're not going to. Gonna, I, I I hope they're not building this. Mayweather. I hope this isn't the start of a rematch between Conor and Floyd because Floyd this week put out some uh, pictures on Instagram of him, you know, landing punches on Conor saying that the easiest hundred million I ever earned. And, and you know, they, they went back and forth like that a few times. And I hope they're not going to do it again. I mean, of course, for those guys, of course, they want to do it again. Of course, Mayweather wants to do it again. 51 and 0. 
an extra $150 million. Why not? Why not? And of course, Con Connor's going to do it again. But uh, I I personally just don't want to see that. I mean, if they want to do it, they want to make money, great. And I will watch. But, of course. you know, come on. We've yeah, seen I, it. Um... It's happened. <laughs> Misha, he's got, does he have a point? Mike Perry wanted to train there. They have a fight together. And apparently right now, Cowboy's feeling uh, kind of betrayed. Oh, I mean, this is reminiscent. I feel like we've heard this story about this camp before when, we, mm -hmm. when it was Rashad Evans and um, him just feeling like he was kind of pushed out of the spot too. So John Jones, yeah. I, yes, with John Jones coming in. Um, you know, what I think is not is not cool if it had been someone that had been training there, like Carlos Condit or something like that, for a long time, and they both were going to fight each other, they both had that mutual respect and the mutual foundation at that gym, sure. then that's different. But when uh, the new guy's coming in, you know, he's like, I want to fight Cowboy, and then he comes to Cowboy's gym. I mean, I think that, that the right thing to do by the gym is to just is to be like, hey, like, we... I, I think there's some loyalty, what I'm trying to say, that that should be towards cowboy he's been there really really long time but like you know this is probably not the camp for you to come in mike because you're fighting our boy that cowboy's been with us forever like we'd love for you to come in for the next camp but you know cowboys cowboys are dude i mean that's how i think even though i know cowboy doesn't drive up there every single day he doesn't train at the gym you know there's some mm -hmm. other reasons i think behind that but i mean that's just me that, that's how that's how i would hope my gym would operate if if i was under those circumstances I never, and on that TMZ uh, clip, which we could play to the audience if you right. want to just play it, I never said the words bow down. I right. never said bow down. No. Never said it. When Nate wrote that, which he sent out a tweet about two, a couple hours later, a second one saying, with all due respect, um, Bruce Buffer, which I, which tells me I understand what Nate means by that. Because, listen, Nate and I get along great. Right. Right. So I wrote back. With all respect, Nate, that is not what I meant by saying the word bow. I meant it as a sign of respect, as in when greeting someone, not a sign of submission. Right. As I'd never expect you to do that for anyone, and there's no way I would ever expect right. Nate Diaz no. to quote something I never said, quote, right. bow down to anybody in his life, in ever. The Nate, you're a true octagon warrior who I truly respect more than you can even imagine. Mm -hmm. And I know you and your brother, Nick, know that that I feel that way about you. I only want the best for you. I'm always in your corner, and I always show you tremendous respect. Now, you supposedly signed your agreement to fight Dustin Poirier. Obviously, it's a good agreement, or you wouldn't have signed it. Right. I hope the fight comes through, and I wish you nothing but the best of everything. And I truly mean that. Sure. Because Nate Diaz and Nick Diaz, because I'm sharing this with his brother, are two warriors, octagon warriors, that have truly helped the UFC get to where they are today. Yep. Through their blood, their sweat, and their tears. Yep. And they deserve tremendous respect for that. Enough said. No doubt about uh, it. And, and Valentina, you are the favorite in the fight. Obviously, you have the experience. You face a lot of good competition. But, but what impresses you about Nico? What you've seen out of her? What impresses you about her game and what she brings into this fight? I, uh, you know, I every time I'm preparing for my fight, it doesn't matter who is the opponent and what it will be the fight. I preparing on my 100 percent, so I will be ready for the fight. This fight is same good as I was ready for any fight that I happen. I I had so many like um, experience fighting with the different opponents. So I know exactly that a uh, new fight is a new fight. You cannot uh, put your feeling and uh, like uh, think about, okay, it was like this. Now I will feel me the same, exactly the same one. No, new fight is a new history. So it will be new fight with some different opponents. And uh, she has her own style. And uh, I think it will be good fight. It will be good fight, and uh, both of us will try to uh, give like a good show for the for all UFC fans. And this is the most important. I I hope that everyone will enjoy uh, the fight. And of course, uh, my goal and my like everything what I uh, for what I'm uh, preparing right now is for the victory and nothing else.